Hi team, I am going to try to get another video done real quick before Connor wakes up from his nap. So this is another um, little bit that I got from Sonia Dudley uh, at her amazing training session that she had with us here in Anchorage a couple of days ago. So this one is about image and not only your image um, when you are out and about uh, talking to people, also your image on Facebook. Um, she really, really emphasized to our group not to send mixed messages on Facebook. Um, part of that is your consistency with your posting. So we should all be posting on Facebook at least once a day um, about something Plexus, but not selling Plexus. Um, really just talking about it, whether it's you know, hey, here's a picture of me in my pink drink. I love my pink drink energy in the morning um, or whatever it is um, or product information. Um, but one of the tips for that too was, you know, do little teasers and little, little things like that. Like, wow, I can't believe I haven't had a headache since January. That's amazing, which is my story. Incredible. It's because people are going to go, wait, well, I have at least three or four a week or a month or whatever it is, what, what is she doing? So that's one of the important things for Facebook. Um, but don't send mixed messages. You know, those of us that are in it for the business, you need to always take that in mind, keep that in mind when you're posting on Facebook, um, the professionalism. So you know, we're, we're all adults here. And, um, when we were in high school, then, you know, some of that stuff may have been, I don't know if it was appropriate, but it was more acceptable, I guess. So just be consistent, um, with your attitude and, uh, and also those plexus posts and also with your own life. Um, yes, we love plexus, but it's not our whole entire life. So we all have, you know, families and kids and dogs and, you know, whatever it is that you've got, um, be posting about that stuff too, to keep your audience interested. They are watching. They are definitely watching. I can see this, um, in my fourth month, um, that people that I reached out to back in January when I started, um, you know, they're now going, okay, okay. Yeah. I've been watching you. What's going on. You're still doing this. Okay. Um, so consistency, 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 and don't take on the jealousy and meanness of the haters. This is what Sonia was saying to us. Their problems are not our problems. Um, you probably saw my post about, um, the little hate mail I got on messenger from somebody that I had reached out to, um, who was a, um, an acquaintance in college, somebody that I used to do theater with. And, uh, Woo, she sent me a little nasty hate mail because she thought I was soliciting and, you know, not trying to be a friend. And, and you, anyway, you saw my response, but obviously something else is going on in her life or somebody impacted her to make her, you know, blow up a little bit, um, because of that. Is that my problem? No. Um, you know, you got to bless and release sometimes and, and, uh, check out my response. If, if you don't know what I'm talking about, scroll around. Um, it's, it's hanging out somewhere. The only person you can change is yourself. That was something else that Sonia said. Um, you can't change how other people are thinking. And I remember watching a Lori Harrison video, um, early on back in January. And it, there's something that stuck with me that she was saying, um, you know, and, and has become my daily prayer to please let me have the words and the mouth to speak. Um, but help me to understand that I do not have the ears that hear. Um, that's up to God and that's up to those people. Um, when they are ready, they will listen. And if they're not ready, then that's okay too. Um, but keep doing what you're doing and keep spreading and sharing. Um, that's what we're here for. And I think all of us are so passionate about it. It really starts to come through. Um, the other thing that I want to touch on with this image thing, um, is when you're talking to people, uh, we talked about Facebook, but what about when you're in front of somebody, um, and you're having a conversation with somebody, maybe it's not somebody that you know very well, um, but you strike up conversation and, 
Um, Sonia says, you know, you really need to build the trust with them. Um, or even if it's a friend of yours who talks to you about an issue that you didn't know they had or something they just got diagnosed with. Uh, instead of saying, wait, you have diabetes? Oh my gosh, I have this amazing product and, you know, this is what it can do and this is what the studies were for and blah, 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 and literally vomiting the information that we're so excited to share all over them. Try a different approach. Like, really? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Tell me more about it. Oh, you have diabetes. Oh, oh gosh, that's that's so terrible. Is it type one or type two? Type two. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's awful. Are you are you on medication for that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's wow. Gosh, that's really awful. I'm I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, you know, I don't really have time to get into it now. Um, but I I may have something that could help with that. Um, let me give you my card. And it's got my website on there. Um, check it out and uh, and call me or email me if you want some more information. So it's a totally different approach, but it's building the trust, having the sincerity of that conversation, asking about their story because we do genuinely care. Yes, we are so excited about this information, but it's not about us at that point. It's about them earning their trust, getting them to have that conversation with you. The longer they have of that conversation, the more they talk to you about it, the more their trust is going to build in you because you are being sincere. Um, and the other thing is don't be desperate. Don't be desperate to make the sale. Or don't, you know, let them know that your eyes are lighting up because you're like, oh my God, this is going to be a new customer, a new ambassador. Yeah, that's going on in our brain a little bit, but don't be desperate. Um, because that's just going to turn them off and they're going to think you're a weird wacko, um, which is fine if they think we're crazy plexus people. But, um, but in this case, you know, be sincere. That gives it, it puts the ball in their court if they want to look it up, um, and do a little research. And then maybe you follow up with them, um, in a week or two or whatever, you know, feels right for you. Um, but that was something that's, that was, that really struck me too. Don't be desperate. It's okay to give them a card and say, hey, here's my information. Um, I'd love for you to look into it and let me know if you want more info. And then leave. Step away. Get out of, we go, hey, I got to go wash the dog. Or I got to go pick up my kid from daycare. Or whatever it is to not drag it all on and make them feel uncomfortable. So um, that's all I've got for this video, I know I'm almost eight minutes in, sorry for that, but um, I really thought that this was a huge, huge, important um, little tidbit uh, on image and, uh, and how others are going to perceive us. Thanks so much.